continue the good tradition in Natoli. Despite the war, despite the uh, tragic situation in Ukraine, I think first of all we should uh, remember who we are and we should share our values and our traditions and our cultures to all over the world because these people who are studying here they will come back to their home countries and they will become politicians, businessmen, and they will remember uh, the years how they celebrated Ukrainian National Day here. And I'm sure it will help for the future of my country. The most emotional moment of the Ukrainian National Day for me was when all the students got up and they started to dance and to celebrate Ukrainian culture. Celebration. It is a way to demonstrate that we have them in our hearts. It is to share their emotions as well, to demonstrate our support. Um, it is truly emotional, it is truly significant, and it is something that must be shared. I wanted to also thank all, for, all of you for your voluntary work and all your trips to, to the border, all your support here in the campus, all your activities of your choir. I was impressed with how much you did. Natolinians for Ukraine is an initiative that began by students here at the College of Europe in Natoli. One of them was crowdfunding, the other one was students going to the border of Poland, between Poland and Ukraine, to support and to demonstrate a, a degree of solidarity to the Ukrainian people. They gathered money to buy uh, medical, uh, medical gear and to send it to Ukraine for the people who need it the most. We understood that students wanted to express their solidarity with Ukrainians in here, in this our international environment in Natalin is very important. And that's why they want to show it that they do Something for Ukrainians. Dobry day. Dobry day. We Poles know it perfectly that language is very important to underline that we are a nation. And in these times, one of the purposes was to focus on the Ukrainian language and to underline that it's another language. It's not Russian, as Ukraine is not part of Russia. The principle of solidarity is very important in Poland with this whole movement of Solidarność. Uh, th this is what we try to replicate on the scale of this campus with these ongoing events. This language class is a, a vector of solidarity for students. I believe that this example of how Poland treats Ukraine, how Polish people treat treat Ukraine would be transferred to other nations. It's a good place to say Vse bude dobro. I don't know if you understand, but uh, we, we will survive. <laughs> the victory will be survived.